I was just sitting here having an introspective moment, and I thought of something. What if an alchemist happens to have a big mistake, and his entire body is made out of some kind of metal now? What would you call that? I'm sure he'd be full of metal. I hope his name isn't Edward. Oh well. Welcome back to the great work. We found some alchemists, and we did absolutely no alchemy yet. There's three alchemists in the room, and there's no alchemy being done. This is terrible. This is Kabeli for hair. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He knows stuff about alchemy. I'm sure he is a cunning linguist and a master of debating. So let's show him some stuff. What is a couple? Tell the commoners what a couple is. We smelt metals in it, in a furnace. We don't have a furnace. How about this iron? Tell us about the most common of materials. Ah, I do have one of those tracks. Very nicely done. Okay. Trick sure question. What is this? Ah, you don't know what it is because it's the Philosopher's Stone. You've never seen it before. We didn't invent one till now. Here, have a tract. This guy translates tracks for us. They tell us stuff. About furnaces and sun caves. We need Stebnite, iron, a couple, and a furnace, and we get a Regulus. What is a Regulus? Explain this to me. Huh? Fine, I'll find out what a Regulus is, and you can't have any. This is Basil Valentine. He believes antimony is the starting point for making gold. No, it's not. It is this red powder? He's not interested in the red... That is the Philosopher's Stone, man. You're trying to find this. I know, because of your tracks. No, he wants antimony, and I don't have any antimony for him. Sucks to be him. We need to find ourselves a furnace. Additional information about uh, Basil Valentine. Remember how I mentioned about his tracks? One of the tracks seemed to include uh, a method that involves dissolving gold in an acid called aqua regia to make gold chloride. And then you evaporate the gold chloride to make gold. And you keep doing that until red crystals form. Apparently that's supposed to be the Philosopher's Stone there. Here we go. Here's a furnace. Let's boil us some materials. I bet this is the gold. Ah, crap. I forgot to use the red powder. All I got is a regulus of antimony now. Great. What am I going to do with this crap? This ain't gold. Look, I did alchemy once. I expected some gold to come out of it. No. I get regulus of antimony instead. I'm a little bit upset now. Hey, Basil, take this junk off my hands. I got some antimony for you. You don't mind if it's a regulus, right? I think in, uh, in alchemical words, a regulus means king. This is the king of antimony. I will take your hand claws. Thank you. Now I could climb on ceilings. What did you need? He also needs a flask. Such a needy guy. But he does have those flippers. I think I might need those. Because there's an entire underwater section around here somewhere. In fact, let's go to the underwater section right now. I'm gonna go swimming. Yay! Look at this underwater section. We can't do much with it because we got currents in the way. Water's always pushing me around. Nope, that was fun. I still need to get up there, though. I need flippers to do that. So, that flask is very important to my quest. And now I can climb on ceilings! It's like I alchematized myself with a monkey, and I'm now monkey alchemist. We can get up this way now. Which is just a fancy way back to where we were before. I want to get in there. You see it up there in the top left? Well, not quite top left, middle left? That looks like a secret up there. And it looks like it's going to be very difficult to get to. If at all. I don't think I could jump that high ever. It's taunting me. I'm sure there's something in there. I just know it. I'm just gonna head back to my house for right now. A little bit of reflection. Reflection's over. Let's keep going. Now I have the ability to wall climb, I can head over in this direction. That looks like a place too. Another place I can't get to. Nifless! Hiding stuff on me, like a Swedish game maker you are. Oh, this is a person. It's August Strindsberg! He needs alcohol to do alchemy! I will not give you that alcohol. I know all about you. August Strindsberg is, in fact, he does a lot of alchemy, but he also did some black magic on his daughter. That's not a guy you want to get drunk. 
And look, speaking of dark magic, it's a teleportation box. What is a teleportation box? It has sun caves in it. A map of the sun cave, to be precise. Yep, it shows Frey Hair, it shows Valentine, guy named Champagne. He's probably fun at parties. Lots of alchemy in this game. This is a teleportation box. You put an item in it, and it appears in every teleportation box in the game. Kind of like uh, Resident Evil's chest. Put ammo in it, and suddenly the ammo's in every chest imaginable. It's kind of like a Schrodinger's box of stuff. Put a cat in there? Now you got five cats! Excellent! Yay for cats! No yay for cats. Do not yay for cats. So, we need to go find some stuff. I talked to some alchemists. I did some alchemy. Time for more platforming. Time for some more puzzles. This is a puzzle. You could uh, approach this two different ways. We could use the flippers and just jump out of the water like a dolphin. Or we could climb like a monkey. I will be doing the latter. And our prize is this chest. A metal box. Has the map of the moon cave. Map of the mountains. And some mineral G. That has to be gold. That definitely has to be gold. It's G. What else is G? Graphite? No, it's gold. I'm sorry. I have decided it's gold. Can't go that way yet either. I can't go places in this game. How can I explore? Very easily by getting myself lost. This is a very important room. We got... That looked like a secret right there. But there's also something right here. This is a new place. Let's, uh, let's hunt around in this place a little bit. Oh, look! A giant fish! Might as well talk to it. Hi, fish! How are you talking? He has some paper for us. The map of the desert. And the tract! That's awesome, fish. You're excellent. I'm not listening to you! Fish shouldn't be able to talk! Ridiculous. I'm not gonna listen to no talking fish telling me what's relevant and what's not. Do what I want. Like talking to this guy. It's a Digio. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Maybe I just embarrassed him. He needs a random heavy object. And he has a flask! I need a random heavy object now. Where can I find one of those? I'm doing some, uh... I'm doing some collection questing now. It's what you have to do as an alchemist. You collect stuff. In fact, alchemy is all about fetch quests. You, you go find other alchemists and they have stuff that you need. And you do a little barter system. This is the Sun Altar. And it has a... Bowling ball on it. Sure, why not? Let's just take that bowling ball. I'm slower now! Ah! I've been weighted down by the power of bowling ball. This is heavier than it looks. I can't even swim anymore. This is hazardous. Who left these spikes here? That's dangerous. An alchemist could get hurt doing alchemy. Let's take that very carefully. I need to get this back to Adigio. Or at least a teleportation box. We learned about it. We might as well use it. Alright. There's one right there. Take this bowling ball off my hands. Jeez. You get weighted down by it. Now I just created like three bowling balls out of one. Alchemy! Let's get that back to Adigio before it causes me to have a conniption. I'll be back in just a moment. I have your random heavy object. It's very random and very heavy. Alright, it's time for you to enter my inventory once more. As Naster starts singing. Oh, I'm not on it yet. I was looking for the bowling ball. When the circle is rotating, then you have a bowling ball. That's how it works. Pretty good singers in that Naster group. Pretty funky. I like it. Might as well just continue on until that song is finished. Out of respect. Hey, Digio, I got a random heavy object for you. It's called Naster. And also this bowling ball. Thank you. Oh, he didn't want a spherical random heavy object. Fine, whatever. Too bad about you. You have to deal with it yourself. I solved your quest. Only one fetch quest per customer. Now I got a flask! I should head back to, uh, what's his face? That guy that makes the tracks people. 
Yeah, Basil, that's that's the dude. Every time I see an empty room like this with nothing going on in it, I think there's a secret in here. I just need to check. I won't be satisfied until I check. Nope, we're good. That room clears its inspection. So does this room. All it has is a current in it. Gotta admit, these currents are pretty useful. We'll be back to that little intersection later. Oh, speaking of stuff, we should go down here. Yeah, it's a secret warp! We could go to other places. Look at this beautiful scenery. I don't think I should be here just yet, but let's explore a little bit anyway. That's what the game's all about. There could be a secret in the secrets. I mentioned that before. Nope, nothing around there. Sometimes there's an entryway that doesn't even look like an entryway. I need, need some jump power. There might be a secret in here. I just don't have the ability for it. Oh well. Oh hey, it's a puzzle! Very dangerous puzzle. I mess it up, I die. I can't even jump over that thing, so guess what? There's a secret tunnel around here somewhere. Aha! I found it! That's right, I'm not jumping over spikes this day. Some other day. I can't even see what's up here. If there's a secret, I don't know. I don't like blind secrets. Let's just get out of here. I'll check around here later. When I have stuff to do. Hey, who was that guy? Hey, I wanted to talk to him! Let me back there! Current, you're a jerk! Current won't let me go that way. There's only way, way, one way I can go to get back to Basil. And that's back to the, the floating platforms in the middle of nowhere. Speaking of which... This world's gravity is a little messed up, isn't it? I mean, we've just got platforms being suspended by what looks like vines, and that's all. That looks very dangerous. I don't want to be climbing on these the way I'm doing. And also, Naster is done singing. I feel a little sad now. That was Naster, everyone. That's one of their songs. We'll run across the other one later. Here you go, Basil. I got a flask for you. I had to suffer much pain. I had a bowling ball and everything. Give me those flippers. Alright! We're done with Basil. We can now do extra swimming stuff. I got, um, Mineral of G, and I got- oh, I have a flask. Um, uh, Attract. Yeah. Might as well get that translated, eh? I turned Canadian for a second. I'm sorry. Alright, translating! We need a Mineral of G, Iron, and some Regulus, and we'll make some Regulus of G. We don't have any Iron, though. Next time on The Great Work, we need to discover more Iron. We used up the last iron, making some stupid antimony. Thanks a lot, Basil. Good night, folks.